many custom homes are coming based on android 13 and many will come i'll make video on all those videos but let's get back to android 12 l also as we have rise to version 4.5 available and yes there are many changes available here too it will come with the based on android 13 very soon but if with android 12 l one more update is coming so i thought i shall make a video on 5.0 as soon as possible because i made a video on rise start customs almost all versions so this is what we have we have android version 12 l as expectedly let's take a quick look at few of the changes in this version for example the blur amount for lock screen media artwork this was present with the version 4.5 where you can adjust the blur in lock screen media artwork if you have enabled the media artwork in lock screen like if you listen songs and if you enable that your background will be covered with that media artwork so yes you can adjust the blur according to your own preference and yes it was included in version 4.5 uh, maybe version 5.0 and upcoming update will there too we will talk about that later on for sure maybe while making this video a new update will roll out very very soon but let's see i'll make a video on that for sure some lock screen customizations you already know fingerprint etc etc these are some lock screen customizations which are included in this version but one more change which we have is in the user interface setting style the aosp or pixel style kind of settings ui is now there so this is the ui if you love the stock ui in settings or if you don't want to customize the settings home ui you can do that very easily you also have the arcane style which means like project arcana i think so yes it's almost same like that and also if i move on to customization section once again and move on to the user interface section we have these styles available palette style material style all these options are available here too whichever you want to customize whichever you want to enable on your device you can no issues in that thing and i think so it depends upon your device which device you're using so there might be some bugs available here and there it depends upon your device as i just mentioned one thing which i found in this version is actually quite good is the lock screen so the status bar clock you can choose the option to show clock background chip i think so it was first introduced in corvus OS android 12.1 if i'm not wrong i made a video on that version too so i know that that this thing was introduced in corvus OS. so yes this is available in this version too in this latest rise to version while making this video this you can enable or disable if you want to so yes if you like this thing you can use that also in sound and vibration you have the option to enable a screen lock Talking sound screenshot sound etc screenshot sound is there which you can disable actually i think so it was not available previously i don't know but in the change log it was written so i think so it's there you can enable this option you can disable this option if you found this option quite useful for you you can enable that else disable is a good choice i always disable this thing i don't want to use the screenshot sound at all in quick settings now you have the option to vibrate i mean you have the option for haptic feedback you can simply enable this option vibrate on touch so whenever you click or whenever you enable or disable any option from quick settings panel you will feel vibration in my personal opinion i don't use this feature at all but if you love to use vibration as some of the users always use vibration on their devices so yes you can use that option too other than those things are basically same like some buttons customizations are already present lock screen customizations i think so i've already talked about this fingerprint etc etc battery info all these all already there miscellaneous also includes these option but yes if you take a look at the game space let me try to enable this game space in any one of these apps as i don't play games if you don't know me i don't play games at all let me try to enable this thing in my file manager app okay go here click on settings uh, for game settings okay this is the ui which we have is it time we have the cpu maybe we have battery temperature battery percentage and more fps info this is what we have in this game space okay these are the things which you have some customizations you already know about navigation things we have the option related to ime button space which you can disable in my opinion i definitely love this feature and i always use this feature on my device other things are basically same notifications that's it try sector so these are the things which you want to write out you can link is already available in the description this is all thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye take care